Alrighty, we're still on the Chapter 3B practice test, going through problems 9 through 12. The directions are to graph the solution to each problem below. And I do notice on 9, 10, 11, and 12, there are less than and greater than signs. There are inequalities. So I'm going to write myself a note that I know in each of these problems, I'm going to need to shade because there's more than one answer that is going to be acceptable. So this first one will have y is less than negative 2x plus 3. The first thing is you're just going to graph it as if it were y equals negative 2x plus 3. So you should get, be able to get half your points just from graphing the equation correctly. So we're going to start up at 3, so up to 3 on the y-axis. From here we are going to go down 2 over 1. And then I need to check there is no equal sign, which means we are not including the actual line in our solution. So I will be making, whoop, that's a very bad dashed line. I'm going to try to make a better one there. We've got a dashed line. And then we know that either the points on this left side of the line are going to work or the points on the right side of the line are going to work. So we are going to test, I, my favorite thing is to test 0, 0. So that's what I'm going to be testing, which means I'm going to come up here in the equation. I'll put in 0 for the y and 0 for the x. And notice basically when I put 0 in for the x, everything in that becomes 0. So we're going to have 0 is less than 3. So is it true that 0 is less than 3? It absolutely is true that 0 is less than 3. So which means every point on the side of the 0, 0 is going to work. So all of these points are solutions. Okay, number 10. Again, we're going to start off as if we were just graphing y equals 4 thirds x minus 4. So I will start at the negative 4, down negative 4 for my y-intercept. From here, my slope is 4 thirds, so I'm going to go up 4 over 3. Um, this time there is an equal sign in my inequality, which means I get to include the line in my solution. So it's going to be a solid line. And then once again, I'm going to test the point 0, 0. And when I test 0, 0, I'll put 0 in for the y. I'll put 0 in for the x. So 4 thirds times 0 is just 0. So that whole part becomes 0. So I'm going to get 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 4 is just negative 4. Is 0 bigger than negative 4? Yes, it is. I'd rather have no money than owe somebody money. So that is once again true. So we are going to shade all the points on the same side as the 0, 0. So we are going to shade everything here. Remember, that just means all of the points over in this shaded region would make the inequality true. All right, number 11, we've got x is greater than negative 2. So on this one, we are going to um, graph it first. So we're just going to pretend like that is x equals negative 2. This is one of those funny ones. So I like to do my fail-proof method. x is always negative 2. And then y, I'll just make it 1, 2, 3 this time. Okay, so negative 2, 1. Whoa. Negative 2, 1 negative 2, 2, and negative 2, 3. So notice we do get a vertical line this time. <clears throat> There's no equals underneath, which means we are not going to include the line in our solution, which means we need to have a dashed line. And then once again, I'm going to check 0, 0. Please notice there's only one place to put the 0, zero this time. It's just there, so I end up getting 0 is bigger than negative 2. And is it true that 0 is bigger than negative 2? Yes, it is. So once we get it, again, we're getting a true statement. So I'm going to shade the side of the line that has the 0, 0 on it. So that means all the points over on this side would make the inequality true. All right, and then number 12. Once again, we're just going to be graphing 2x plus 5y equals 15. All right, and then on this one, I know that I need to sell for y, so I'm going to be a mobile valence drawer. So I've got two x's and I've got five y's. And then on the right side, I have 15. I want to get rid of these two x's, so I'm going to subtract them from each side. And so now I look at what I have left. I have five y's. And then on the right side, I have 15 minus 2x. And then from here, I need to divide all three parts by 5. So we've got y equals 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then 2 divided by 5 does not work out nice, so we'll have minus 2 fifths x. So from here, I'll start at the 3. And then my slope is negative 2 fifths, so I'll go down 2 over 5. Um, I, if I look up in the original problem, there is an equal sign in that inequality, so I know I get to include the line in my solution, so it's going to be a solid line. Okay, I'm once again going to test the point 0, 0. I get to test it back up in the original, remember, so 0 and 0. So 0 plus 0 would just be 0, 0 less than or equal to 15. Um, once again... <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm supposed to get a false one here. So 
it's going to be true again. So here we go. So true, I'm going to shade the side that has the zero, zero on it. Okay, comment. If I ever get false, then I don't shade the side that has zero, zero on it, and I would shade the other side. So there we go, 9 through 12.